Hey everybody, welcome to the real United States, and it's National Pumpkin Day. It is the last Friday of October every year, and uh, sometimes it's just called Pumpkin Day. Um, you know, the funny thing about Pumpkin Day, or National Pumpkin Day, is there doesn't seem to be any record of how it was created. Um, there doesn't seem to be a presidential proclamation or any sort of congressional decree or decree from any other governing body from another organization around the world. It just seems to have sprung into existence. And uh, that's uh, peculiar. <laughs> but welcome, I suppose. And it is a celebration of all things pumpkin. Uh, again, it is, it, it's one of those holidays. It isn't on a given date. It happens to fall on the last Friday of October, which is probably the zenith of uh, pumpkin interest or pumpkin production. Although, here in the United States, you start seeing pumpkins, I swear to God, at the end of August uh, in the markets. Uh, a few of the smaller pumpkins are getting ripe. Certainly in September, they are in full swing. And by October, they're actually starting to get a little on, you know. I mean, it says that is the big month for pumpkin sales. Everybody wants pumpkins for Halloween, uh, mostly decorative. But pumpkin in terms of consumption, uh, which, and again, you don't have to tell me, it's not a regular pumpkin like you see. The canned pumpkin is made out of a different type of pumpkin. I understand that. Uh, but pumpkin consumption is really a November sort of a thing, where the vast majority of pumpkin is consumed. I mean, people start this time of year and they go pumpkin crazy. They want pumpkin spice everything in their coffee. I saw a pumpkin spice breakfast cereal, like Cheerios or something, that were pumpkin spice. That was pretty weird. Um, you know, I mean, pumpkin spice lattes, coffees are a big thing. Uh, donuts and all kinds of confections especially are going to have, you know, eat coffee cream or pumpkin spice. That's really weird. Um, people seem to just, they, they, this time of year they crave it. It's a cultural thing, right? This time of year we're going to want it and come December we don't want to hear about it. And I don't quite understand that because the taste of pumpkin is good pretty much all year round. I think, you know but you can't even hardly buy it, um, you know, in the spring and summer. Um, I don't know why, it's just well, probably because people don't buy it, so they don't care it, but uh, somewhere it's just sitting in cans and storage in a warehouse someplace if you wanted it. Uh, you can order it on the, online, that's where you can get it, um, if you don't happen to prepare your own. Another interesting thing that bothers me about pumpkins, here's the thing, when you want a home can pumpkin, and you read the, you know, the two big uh, organizations that are uh, involved in canning uh, procedures and safety, and I don't remember their names, and it doesn't really matter because I don't want to call them out on this, but if you look online, you want to can pump. First of all, they say freezing is gives you a superior product. Okay. Have any of you all ever seen cubed frozen pumpkin in the store? If you have, leave it in the comment section because I've been here almost six decades, and I have never seen a grocery store carry frozen pumpkin. But they say if you must can your pumpkin, you can cut it in chunks and put back in the cans and, and then pressure can it. Never ever, it's not considered safe to, to roast it, puree it, and then can the puree. However, why is it then Whenever you go to a grocery store to buy canned pumpkin, it only comes as puree, either as pumpkin pie mix or as pumpkin. Canned pumpkin is a, is is pureed. It's a it's mash, mash, crushed, liquidized, put in a can, and it's in a, and that's okay commercially, but somehow it's not okay for home canners. I don't get that. I. It, you, want to, you go ahead, leave me four or five paragraphs, if you must, about why it's okay for them to do it and not okay for home canners to do it, because it's making me a little nutty. Well, I'm already a little nutty, but I digress. Anyway, um, so um, 
a lot of cool things. Anyway, and the reason I'm making a fuss about this, by the way, is because pumpkins and a winter squash, and I, <laughs> I was recently told by one of my viewers, he doesn't like the squash episodes because he hates squash. Sorry about this, buddy. It, it's, you know, you just got to endure it. Pumpkin is, I know, same thing as squash, but because the word pumpkin has no botanical meaning, by the way. So, uh, anyway, they are both indigenous items to the Americas, to North and South America. So, um, they were, you know, exported uh, or transplanted, or however you want to think of it, the seeds were taken from the, the Americas to the rest of the world. So, you're not going to see anything pumpkin in Europe or Asia prior to what would be, what, the 16th century, right? Because we didn't really start, you know, I mean, Columbus came here what, late in the 15th, very late in the 15th century. So you're not going to, you shouldn't see anything pumpkin referenced in the rest of, the, of literature or history if you see a painting that shows a pumpkin outside of a medieval castle, it's not depicting something that's period, because they weren't there. <laughs> These are very Americana sorts of things, because they, they, they developed here. Um, and, and so I think that's why it's important for this channel to make an issue about National Pumpkin Day, <laughs> and uh, the fact that they're not just for decorations or jack-o'-lanterns and the jack-o'-lantern is not an American thing by the way it was an adaptation adaptation of what I understand was an Irish tradition of carving a jack-o'-lantern out of a turnip and that sort of became a thing with pumpkins with the Irish immigrants who came to the United States kind of neat um, I, keep, I don't have any script, so I keep going off on the vendor here, folks. I'm sorry about that. But anyway, very <laughs> pumpkins, very Americana sort of thing. Because um, they developed here long, long before, well, humans came here even probably. So that is an important reason to celebrate National Pumpkin Day here in the United States or in North America or even South America in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, but since they've been transplanted around the world, hey, it's a good reason to celebrate every place. So you can make not only pies and, and, and lattes and things, but also savory dishes. Beverly and I enjoy pumpkin soup. Uh, I haven't done a pumpkin soup episode yet. You, you can expect one probably soon. <laughs> uh, because as you saw from previous episodes, we've got a lot of pumpkins. And because we eat a lot of pumpkin, and yes, like most people, we eat more of it this time of year. But that's because it's more readily available and inexpensive this time of year. Um, so we eat a lot of it. So you can expect a pumpkin soup recipe soon. Um, it's pretty good. It's one of the few savory dishes that have been made with pumpkin, besides maybe pumpkin bread, which is marginally savory and a little sweet at the same time. Um, it has a lot of different uses. I make a lot of pumpkin mousse uh, for, for Beverly and I, uh, which of course is a sweet dish, but uh, you know, it's, it's just a very versatile sort of a dish that you include. And my grandson, Nathan, Nathan, I don't know if you watch this, but if you do, how you doing? Grandpa says hi. Uh, absolutely adores all things pumpkin, especially pumpkin pie, so some people are just a little more gonzo about it even than me. <laughs> anyway, folks, Happy National Pumpkin Day. I hope you have a wonderful day of it. And if you got questions, comments, you want to lecture me on something, leave it down in the comments section below. I love hearing from, well, most of you. <laughs> and I try to get back to everybody I can. Uh, if you're new here, hey, happy Pumpkin Day. Thanks for joining us. I hope you'll be interested enough to pick subscribe and come along for the adventure because we've got lots more to show you. And as always, folks, I thank you for watching.